<laughs> you know, we got a great team here delivering us food while yeah. on the mic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll save you guys your ears. I won't be eating on the mic. Don't need, no need to worry. No, we can hold our button. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Chow down on our burritos. Just finger up, like still chewing, you know. So this is L3W exclamation point. Oh, Probably Lou. pronounced as Lou. Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, this was one of the crossover entrants that is just making a run today. Um, he started in D4, and uh, I had no clue who he was, but he is making himself known today. Do you know who he plays? It looks like he's going to... Uh, er, they're both locking in Falcon, uncharacteristic of Lord Toko. Maybe underestimating... Okay, Lord Toko switches to his tried and true Jigglypuff, and Lou is going to lock in with that Falcon. Um, he's a popular crossover character, I think. Yeah. One of the most popular characters in the game right now, uh, partially because... The meta is evolving, and Solo Falcon is a lot more viable than it was four years ago. Uh, so, yeah. And this, uh, I think this is a matchup most Puff mains, like, this is the one they want to kind of draw in tournament. Um, Puff has a lot of things you can do on Falcon. That crouch is dangerous. Uh, you can make Falcon whiff a lot and just get a grab and return. Mm -hmm. um, but Lou is just going for the up smash instead, maybe overhearing me. Falcon does have a lot of stuff, though. And you get to Jigglypuff at like a high percent, and then back air is pretty hard for Jigglypuff to deal with. Yeah. Falcon's long limbs can keep Jigglypuff away for a long time. But you've got to have that punish game. Yeah, with how, you know, Last Cannon, both these characters feel at times. Mm -hmm. uh, Falcon's actually incredibly good at zoning out. Um, once you get away from that, like, I need to grab or up smash uh, kind of game. Oh, great, just reversal there. Got a lot going on here, and Toko getting away with it. Ooh, that was crazy. Oh, the taunt. Uh, the head shake from Lou. Maybe well learned. We'll see, though. And a little stutter step there. Uh, quick rest. Falcon might be able to get back here. He doesn't do the correct, like, rising Falcon punch. Yeah. You gotta jump into it and do a rising Falcon punch. But... Yeah, he was a little slow on it. Um, I. I I'm pretty confident he makes it back there if he uh, does it correctly. Yeah. Good, aggressive recovery there with the up air. Risky up B. This could be it. Lord Toko looking to close it out with a rest. Oh, went for a third up air. Yeah, just... Uh, oh, he wasn't done with him. I guess not. He wants some more. And we'll see if he can get some. And Toko just kind of standing around, uh, letting Blue get a free approach. Yep. Gets hit by the hook. We'll and see. a new lease on life for Lou here. And he's not even that high a percent. And now those low percent combos, or maybe up tilt will convert to, uh, to a res, I'm not sure. But a lot of those low percent combos aren't going to work on Falcon anymore. You're going to have to close it out with an edge guard or a raw hit. Here's this edge guard situation, and Toko will do that. Yeah, those are uh, those are great nairs from Toko. He knew he can just kind of hang it out. Yeah. Um, and Falcon's either forced to get hit by it or trade, which also includes being hit by it. Mm -hmm. Um, but he knows that Falcon's at just such a high percent. He's not really risking anything throwing it out there. Uh, so, uh, Lou sticks Falcon here. He didn't do too bad, though. There were little things, like little 64-specific stuff that he could improve on. But in general, his fundamentals don't seem bad. He knows what he's looking for. He knows, yeah, what to do. Like, he's walling out with the bears. Knows about his up air to up B conversions, of course. So let's see how he can improve in game two. It's a little more slow. Yeah, he's taking it a little slower, but Toko just so familiar with uh, how Falcons want to approach. Um, and just kind of, you know, using that quick dash dance from Jigglypuff uh, to get that grab in. And that was an amazing teleport Nair to get over to where Falcon was, knock him off stage, set up that edge guard situation. I think that's one of, uh, from what I've seen from Toko, it's one of his favorite ways to just like, uh, Kind of turned around the pressure. Uh, Jigglypuff generally wanting to stay under that side plat, and that teleport is just deceptively fast. You can come right out and just uh, put the opponent in a really bad position. Mm -hmm. And he likes his up smash. Uh, Lou does, but Jigglypuff is one of the few characters that doesn't really lead to anything on. It sends her so far up high, even at zero. It doesn't, you don't really get much off of it. Yeah, uh, I would say it's like uh, sometimes you're forced to use it to escape against Jigglypuff. Which is good, but it's not a, It's more, yeah, more of a combo breaker, not as much of a combo starter in yeah. this matchup. Good recovery by Lou, going high. Gets to the ground. Uh, uh, fastball in there. there. Yeah. Okay. Fastball in there would have been pretty good there, but he still gets a good... Oh, good conversion yeah, in general. Oh, yeah. <gasps> he went that for it. That was beautiful. 
I was thinking it was like the order of things that I think I'm going to see is like up air or maybe back air, but he just went for the spike. He wanted to end him. Oh, yeah. And he, that down air just hung out for so long, and you really don't have to... It doesn't matter where you hit it on Jigglypuff. It's going to put her in a really bad spot off stage. Yeah. Not much forward air use from Lou. Yeah, uh, considering how... Like, you can tell he's not really using all of Falcon's toolkit, but... Uh, this is a, I think this is a situation where we see a player who's familiar with like the tools, mm -hmm. very familiar with the tools he knows how to, how to use. Um, and yeah, I mean, now that you mentioned it, just like, <laughs> I, haven't, I don't think we've seen one forward there. It could be a melee thing, but yeah. I don't know. The back air is good enough. I mean, he should have sealed that stock, but ended up dying himself. So we'll, we'll see. This could I be mean, it. Oh, good up smash. Maybe the melee is like, uh, since it's not the knee, they just stay away from forward air. Yeah. Know? But Falcon Nair in melee is so good, which is his forward air in this game, but. Yeah. I don't know. A little, little bit lost in translation, maybe. Oh, there, there it, it is. is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not not right now. Now's not the time for that one. Good DI, though, but not going to be enough. Hey. Toko taking it 2 0 with a two stock in game two. Yeah, good stuff from Toko. Uh, pretty new player uh, on the scene, and now I think he's worked his way up to number three.